Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. So uh, this reading is going to be for the first half of August and I'm using a different deck guys. Uh, this is the Templar Tarot, the journey, just so you can see. Okay, so I've never used this deck before. Um, the interpretation of the cards are slightly a little more in depth and I like the art here. I'm a lover of the theater and the arts. And I kind, I'm a very intuitive reader. So um, based on the actual, the visual that's being presented, I can pull a little bit more intuitively. And I feel like right now we're in that transition stage where we are leaving the old behind. A lot of us are. Uh, and going into the new so a cycle is just completed we're kind of in that transition phase right now and I feel like a lot of people are have uh, actually taken advantage of moving forward so uh, I was guided to use these right now so um, I'm still going to use the regular right away deck to clarify and on the extended I'm, I'm also going to just use the traditional deck but for these messages I felt like um, this deck can kind of give you a little more insight. It's a little more advanced than the regular deck, especially because of the images, which I love. This is the Ten of Swords. Uh, let's see, this is the Ace of Cups. So the meanings are a little different and you'll see what I mean. This is the Eight of Cups. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, but um, I just thought that I would tell you guys more about this deck, okay? This message is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So remember that energies are interchangeable. Feel free to reverse the rows if you're cross-watching, okay? All right, so let's uh, let's get started for Pisces here. Ooh, cards are flipping. Pisces, we have the sun. Oh, wow. You guys are um, at the beginning of something that's going to be wonderful for you. Uh, this just lets me know. A lot of you have been working on yourself. I mean, it is Leo season. You have the sun card. A lot of you are uh, starting some kind of new project. Um. I don't know. It feels like a lot of you are going into spiritual work here. I see you studying, researching, looking things up online. You're learning something new. Um, it's like you're developing new knowledge here with the sun card. Nice. Okay, let me see what else we got for you guys. We have the two of swords. So with this two of swords, um, it is saying that <laughs> there is some kind of balance happening in your life somewhere. Um, it's almost like they, there was a, f a, a fight. When I say fight, I don't mean like physical. It could be, but there was a... Uh, a quarrel between you and someone else but now you guys are like agreeing to disagree kind of thing or you're compromising it's like two opposing force come together you know it's like 
the swords are down and you're it's like um friendship after adversity so you and someone could be right now working on things here I see good things for you and then I see a balance of um a balance of power you can say two people coming to an agreement here trying to work things out some of you are working things out with someone else I see you overlooking paperwork here all right we got a card that slid out here yeah <laughs> you and someone are moving on past uh, troubled times and you're working it out so some of you are, are reconciling with someone and you all are working it out together I see you um, this is the six of swords and um, yeah you're moving away from uh, troubled times you're leaning on each other for support and um, someone is now becoming dependable when they weren't before uh, someone now is caring about how you feel when maybe before they weren't this is like you solving a problem um, a serious problem some of you could be going on a trip soon but with this card it lets me know that you're working on things it may not be good yet though it's it's not good yet sometimes this is like you know working on things but it's, it gets better temporarily so we have the queen of pentacles here so uh some of you could be dealing with a capricorn virgo or taurus but we have the queen of pentacles and this queen She's uh, down to earth. She's very sensible. And um, she's good with money. And her affection. So, oh, sorry, I'm dropping the cards. So some of you <laughs> are embodying these qualities here. I just see that some of you are very happy right now and it, and it feels like it's because you're reconciling with someone that you have a deep uh, bond with or someone who it's been very, very hard in the past, but I see you working on it. This is giving you the chance to be the person you always wanted to be as it comes to career and home here I'm gonna keep going Pisces I mean I see you happy you started with the Sun card so this is like a, a, a new beginning that's that's um giving you hope It's giving you hope. Yeah, we have the king of staves here. So, with the king of staves, uh, he's he's noble. He's courageous. So, this deck has a staves instead of wands. So, he's just... And he's, um, he could see two sides. So you, you and whoever you're with, some of you are dealing with a fire sign. It could be a Leo. But this person has more work to do on themselves. He's, um, he has one wing. So he's still working on himself. So he's, he's getting there. He's not perfect, but he's working on himself. 
but you are um your queen and this person is a king remember it's not gender specific but there are two court cards here so they're counterparts so this person meets you at your level this is the coming together of a of a relationship your reading is is surrounded by someone else here Pisces it's like you're working on something that was hard in the past so I'm trying to see what else I get because I see the Sun card and I see reconciliation temperance yeah okay Sagittarius so we have um, another fire sign here so it looks like there's some kind of um <laughs> yeah this is definitely about a relationship this took a lot of discipline a lot of um it took a lot of your patience a lot of you balancing your energy this was not hard this was not easy i'm sorry uh but in this deck it does say that it's it's the bringing together to form the perfect union this may work for you, Pisces. Um, I don't get anything to be concerned about yet. I do. I, I can tell you that it's not going to be easy. So you are going to have to temper your energy here. It's going to take some healing. You're going to have to let go of things that happened in the past. Um, with the Six of Swords, I see you bringing the memories from the past with you here and which you should you don't want to forget what happened but i see that may come up but this card is um it's just showing harmony now there's um there's a balance happening okay it's a good journey Whatever you went through is what br brought you here. And it's almost like you had to go through this to see this relationship for what it is. A lot of you went through a, um, a lesson with someone and that caused both of you to work on yourself to now you're sitting on thrones. Okay, but it's not going to be easy, but I see that you, the two of you will... Be considerate of the other. I see, um, I see affection. I see compromise. I see trying to work together. I see compassion for each other. I see love. So, this is going to be a successful partnership here. Could it be? Could it be good? It'll be good. Um, so if you haven't healed yet, make sure you you you're either working on it or you're you're trying to because that's a big part of this being successful. You have to have healed. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So we have the Four of Pentacles. I don't know. I don't know if somebody feel like they were bound. Let me pull another card here first. Okay, and then the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys were at odds before. I'm going to clarify here. So the four of pentacles here. It's um It's like you you love material things so you start feeling bound to it, but that could be, like material things can be physical things. So you this could be the relationship where you felt stuck or connected to it in a way where you couldn't let go. Um, you know, it's like being chained 
to something um this kind of took over your life here be careful that you're not reconciling because you feel like you need this person because if that's why you're reconciling you got to be careful you haven't healed yet you're going to end up um having the same type of experience and if if this is someone new because for some of you this is someone new that's helping you get through a bad breakup um i'm going to be honest i i see kind of um i see codependency here it's like you need something else to um feel fulfilled i'm going to clarify this and then we have the 7 of pentacles here in the seven of pentacles here, it's like, um, it's like you're, you get what you want, but you go through a fight to get it. Okay. Um, it's like two people arguing and fighting over something. You see how there's like six pentacles, you know, like, okay, this one has three, this one has three, but the last one, it's like you guys they have to come to a compromise on it or you're fighting over it so someone's going to get it uh but through through a quarrel you know through a fight so i i do see you getting what you want but after a tough fight this four of pentacles kind of concerns me Clarify the four of pentacles here. Careful you're not um, you're not working on a relationship for the wrong reason. That's going to put you at another cycle. Pisces. Okay, so um, let's see what we got. Yeah, we had the Five of Swords. This is um, your... You all... It looks like you were just in a relationship where you felt bound to. It was a fight to get out of this but you still you still feel stuck to it it's like you this is um a working out of fear or doing things because you're not sure <sighs> all right i don't want you to end up in the same cycle because it kind of feels like there's a compromise here. But for the wrong reasons, it's like some of you are staying together for not for love, not that there is no love there. But the main reason is other practical things like possessions, you know, your job or career or money or kids but there's still potential here for you all to, to be fighting and it's like yeah you're coming to terms but you're not side by side here you're not sitting side by side because there's there's still some kind of tension here I'm gonna just let you know you, you still need to work on yourself here there's still some work that needs to be done. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna end up here. You're gonna end up here. I mean, you started with the sun card, which as we know, potential, the potential is here. But 
it kind of feels like the sun card you'll be successful with the sun card when you work on yourself like singularly that's why you're not sitting side by side it's like both of the cards where you're together it's like each person is it's like when you're together you have to you're helping the other it's almost like one person is probably putting in all the work where you know I I got this I'll work on this and it's like I don't know if one of you are trying to convince the other that it's best to work on it and the other he looks unsure it's like okay this is what he or she wants all right fine but it's not like really what they want it's like you here you're still kind of convincing this person like come on let's move on it's like okay fine I'll, I'll do it it's like yeah you know this is what's best let's go it's like one person is um putting in all the work and then there's like still fighting it's like you're still not there yet there's still work that needs to be done you have the five of swords here which is like defeat it's like a loss it's like um winning at all costs kind of like destroying the other in the in the process this this four of swords though is really what's it's like you're holding on for the wrong reasons you feel bound to this someone feels bound to this it's not a healthy reason to work it out you know and that's why the temperance is here. There's still some healing needed. I mean, the potential is here. It just I feel like there's still some work that needs to be done here. Because you have the sun card. So you're being urged to work on yourself. Because that's where the happiness is when you're alone. That's where the happiness is. So some of you should be working on some kind of creative project. That's when your healing is done. When you're working on yourself. That's where your abundance is found. That's where your joy is found. That's where you get your warmth. That's where you get your creativity. When you're working on yourself. Because there's still some kind of tension between the two of you here. Like you can't even sit side by side. It's almost like you still can't even be in the same room. Someone still has work to do on themselves here. All right, so let me go ahead and pull out an angel therapy oracle card for you. Workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is a part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. So yeah, that's basically what this is here. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to be learning something. And I, and I see that you're supposed to end up teaching. They're wanting you to um, work on this project here. You're being called to teach others. But first you need to learn yourself. That's where your abundance lies. Yeah. Giving speeches. Some of you are good with. Um, with teaching people. People listen to you. You're like a leader. Here. So you're supposed to be working on yourself. supposed to be working on yourself um another card flipped over archangel michael you are working very closely with this powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation so you do have support you have support 
you're being guided. I mean, I feel like you know what you need to do. It's, some of you are going back and forth. You have two minds of this. You don't know, which is the traditional meaning of two of swords. Like you're not knowing what to do. And I do feel that here. I feel that here. It's like you're not sure. Right now they want you working on yourself. There's a project they're wanting you to do. Something you need to be working on. That way you're dependent on yourself. You don't feel like you need another to be whole. Yeah. You still have work to do here, Pisces. Okay, but you're on the right track. You are getting, um, you're getting support here. And um, apparently you're supposed to um, be working on something that's going to uh, eventually have you teaching others, which is where your success lies in teaching others. But first you have to teach yourself. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do the extended and I'm just going to see, I'm going to ask what the intentions are of the other person and what the potential is. Okay. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.